it's me, Tree. Excuse the fluke, it's very aggressive today. Small, er, uh, today is October 3rd, so Sunday, October 3rd. Uh, I'm sorry about the sound of the air conditioner. It decided to be, like, really warm on Friday. And the way our house keeps heat and keeps cool, it takes a little bit of time to recool it down. So, and I do not regulate body temperature in any way that makes remote sense. So, what did I want to talk about today? Always a question. Um... And is this an intro outro tree? That is always a question too. So I guess hi intro tree. Uh, so draw October, draw Halloween, whatever you want to call it, is well on its way. I'm doing my own prompt list, Tentacle Tober, but I'm also doing Peach Tober because it makes me do things that I maybe wouldn't normally do though. So far this month, it's stuff I do do. Um, but I'm doing them in, uh, more traditional media rather than digital media like I'm doing, rather than at digital media like I'm doing mine. So, there is that. I also had a slow start to the month because I had a migraine October 1st and the entire day and could not function. So, I basically spent yesterday catching up on, uh, two of my own prompts and two of uh, for a little peaches prompts. But I caught up. That is all I can say. I did this with my own hands. Gnome and I started watching Midnight Mass yesterday, which is funny because there is a terrible, terrible movie from, like, the early aughts called Midnight Mass. It's a vampire thing that was clearly somebody's, um, like, senior film. Senior project for their film degree. It's just aggressively bad. I very rarely have a I want this 90 minutes of my life back. This movie is like with a bullet I want this 90 minutes of my life back. But uh, the Midnight Mass TV series is very interesting, very weird. I could live with it being a little bit more, a little bit less religioso. And it's not even religioso in like a way I enjoy religio, so it just gets like pontificating about it. But it, it, it's it's fun, it's enjoyable, it's very re like Salem's Lot, um, very much Salem's Lot, um, combined with like maybe some prophecy, maybe some prophecy, but also I keep getting like Beastmaster feels too. It's it is complicated, the references going on in this thing, and I just made the camera. It's complicated, the references going on in this thing, but that's part of the fun for me. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, Gnome and I have also been watching Chapel Weight, which is uh, inspired, based, adapted from Stephen King's uh, Jerusalem, short story Jerusalem Plot, and it is excellent. I mean, I have some issues with it here and there, but largely it is excellent. And Adrian Brody just, he is so good when he's just like mostly not right. So, yay, it's good. I like it. It has a lot of, um, it does, however, have like some taint, um, turn of the screw vibes to it with Rebecca. Um, I was going to say Taming of the Shrew. <laughs> it's like very similar letters, not remotely the same. But yeah, it has some, some Henry James Turner of the Screw feels to it, which there is an adaptation of Turner of the Screw that has Julian Sands in it, which is just weird and wild. Sorry, I realize I've just been like hip hopping, hippity hoppity, hippity hopping in different directions of movies and TV shows and stuff. So maybe I shall stop. But yes, intro tree. Hello. Outro tree will maybe be a different day. Like maybe at the end of the week. I don't know. I do, however, have um, doctor's appointments 
on Friday. I don't think I'm going to take the day off, but I might because levels of substitute that are going to go on on that day are bound. It's going to be terrible. So I may give Friday, myself Friday off. Maybe. I probably should. Okay, so I'm going to go 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 art go do art things bye hi it's me tree i had my doctor appointment yesterday um though because the yearly thingy took so long part of the essential biological uh things got put off because i need to go see doctor my doctor again in a couple weeks for something else um and labs i got labs that i wasn't going to wasn't supposed to have i i've been having some problems with joints falling out of place i know that sounds really weird but that's the best description i have for it um and my doctor kind of like asked if may maybe there's a history of EDS, El Ehlers Dandros Syndrome in my family and it's like I'm not aware of it but from what I've read about the disorder if you don't have like very clear hypermobility it's kind of hard to get doctors to test for it um, though evidently I have hypermobility that I didn't know was hypermobility because this is just how my fingers go when I stretch them out. Um, see? And my partner who is a my partner who's a musician so therefore has, you know, mobile fingers, his, their hands don't do that. Their fingers do not do that. And I do things like turn my arms around and I didn't realize that this was a hypermobility thing possibly I thought I was just flexible so I, I think there is a test for that coming up in my future and it might explain some of my other issues because um, comorbidities are a thing that exist um, I'm also seeing uh, I think it's called behavioral counselor next week basically I'm seeing somebody I'm seeing a therapist because my my doctor is concerned about my depression and things and I mean you know fair I'm trying to determine if we need to up my spicy sad and uh, spicy concern meds and if I need to have like weekly therapy and things like that and you know what I probably do probably all of it I'm not against doing such a thing. Everybody needs help. Sometimes your brains don't produce the things that they need to produce, and store bot is fine. And I did talk to my doctor about perhaps getting a formal ADHD and or ASD diagnosis, or at least an examination, uh, because there are comorbidities within that, which could be affecting other things so evidently this is going to be the year of like let's fix trees brain shenanigans or at least get them under control or at least give them a name so that they can be dealt with um the EDS thing is I feel like this is just me being a hypochondriac, but my doctor is the one who brought it up. So many things. So many things that could be causing me problems. But yes, I, I, sur I survived yesterday. So, uh, yeah. Uh, here's a time-lapse art thing to make up for all of this.
Hi, it's me, Tree. Uh, it is October 25th, 26th. Do, 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 do. I know what day it is. No, I don't. Come on, help me out. 26th. It is October 26th. I have not talked to the camera in like a week and a half at least. I think the last time I talked to the camera, I was, uh, I had had my first meeting with the behavioralist and had a second one scheduled. I've had now had my second appointment with the behavioralist and I don't know, I, I'm, I've never entirely been certain what you're supposed to get out of therapy because I've never had luck with therapy. And considering the, the amount of factors and everything that goes into finding a therapist when you're queer and non-binary and pagan and have potentially undiagnosed ADHD and ASD and a myriad of other things and disabled and a myriad of other things. Um, luck is definitely one of those words I would use in trying to find. So my camera decided that its battery was, was kaput. So I just had to put a new one in, um, but what I was saying, um, that finding a therapist when you have a litany of things that do not necessarily always work well in a western, western landscape of mental health does mean that it feels like luck when you find somebody who you can work with. and. She's okay. She keeps misgendering me, which we've had two things, so, and it's new, so I'm trying to be patient with that, but there's a litany of other things that are bugging me and bothering me, so I guess that means I have to talk to her about it. It's like they upped my... Uh, when I say they, I mean my behavioralist, the psychiatrist, and my uh, primary care physician, like, doubled my my spicy sads, which so far doesn't feel like it's doing anything, so I'm not even sure it's making more, me more tired. I just, mmm. Uh... I'm not even sure if it's that that's making me tired. And she wants, she has decided to put me on anti-anxiety, anti-concern, anti-big concern uh, medication, which I had been on previously when I was in the facility, which didn't do anything for me. And it might've been just, I have too much anxiety going on for it to help. But also had a um, interaction with my asthma inhaler, so. At least we think that it was that med that was doing it. I was on a lot of meds. It could have been a lot of things. So we'll have to keep an eye on that, which, yay. It's like, I'm sitting here talking about all this. I don't know if any of it's actually going to end up in the vlog. Because who wants to hear about me talk about my mental health? But anyway, it's been a week and a half since, at least since I've talked to the camera. Um... Peachtober and Tentacletober are going apace. Um, I, I'm starting to actually manage to loosen up my digital drawing a little bit, which is nice. So, yay me. And, um, because I've been doing a lot of my Peachtober stuff as watercolor paintings, I feel like that's getting better, too. So, the point of art challenges is succeeding. It succeeded. I, I feel like I'm getting better at things. I feel like I am reaching those goals. I hate that kind of language. Ugh. Ugh. Toxic positivity. Alright. I'm going to go. I'm going to edit this, like, now because it's the 26th and I have not edited any of this footage. So, uh, in case I have not said it, do good, be kind, be brave. Encourage.